all units, we have a disturbance reported in Pacifica. Roger, dispatch. On our way. Say, would you at least come to my funeral? Keep this piece of old scrap ate my eddies again. Can't play like this, man. When are you finally gonna fix it? You there? How about a quick game? Michael Maldonado, I'm V. Hand said you needed a uh, well, hand with something. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless are we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an exemplar. That's where you come in. Why would she have it in for him? It's gotta be a reason. She's the DA. If she wants a reason, she'll find one. Zembinski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. 
But for that, she needs Erekine bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. Tell me more about Eric. Mention he sells two-wheelers. Fixes them. Little go-getter owns a repair shop in Haywood now. Yeah. Moved out of Dogtown with his mother years ago. Hardly seen the kid since. Sure your son's who he says he is? Eric? He's too innocent for this town. That's why they're fixing to take him down. Zembinski forced you to testify. How exactly? At first she seemed... nice. We were sitting, having a normal conversation. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. It was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened worse for Eric. Then they... put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. Just go talk to her. You know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. He get eaten alive in prison. Not if I've got anything to say about it. Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. Ah. That's a relief. No hands would entoss me some bush leaguer. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for her... Heart to heart.
Here. You sure you got your hat on straight? See what you got. All kinds of good stuff. Take a look. Looking for a customer of yours. DA Georgina Zimbinski. Know her? Can't say I do. But if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack though, and him you'll find in the can. As in like the shitter. That can. Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz. Where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know it. Uh, okay. Thanks.
Listen, Jack. That biotechnica suit's supposed to come tomorrow. And now, you know, sunflower guy. Oh, Larry, sweetheart. I feel you. Something to numb the pain? Yeah. I'll take three, you know what? Hey, what's good? Looking for something? Looking for someone. Girl tending bar told me you're the go-to. Nah. Helen needs to learn to keep her trap shut. Georgina Zembinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked, though. You do that. Oh, slow down. Times it is and all that jazz. Do you what I'm saying? Forget it. I'll find it myself. Good luck with that, honey. Come find me if you change your mind. Know a few suppliers in NC. Not to mention Chum's working doors for the city's primus clubs. Want to expand your enterprise? Or are you content slinging dope in this dump for the rest of your life? Huh. Offer's tempting. Fine. Keep your ads. I'll consider it an investment in my future. Hey, baby! I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah. Right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's schmoozing with some heavy hitters. Booth 4. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Zempinski. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. Are there any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. Okay, let's see. Show me. Interested or not? Clean vomit off your fourth table and your day suddenly gets long no matter what. See, was gonna order something till that put me off pretty much everything. Can I help you with something? I'm a little busy here. Looking for one Georgina Zimbinski. Name sound familiar? Afraid not. She a client of ours? Regular, apparently. Night City DA. Hmm. Sounds like a VIP. Better off trying your luck upstairs. Far away from us normal folk. Appreciate it, thanks. Facing the curb. Rather that than rubbing elbows with the rebel down here. Shithead bouncers don't know who they're dealing with. They're gonna throw me out? Me? Why'd they kick you out? Well, um, some loser wouldn't stop bothering me, so I bashed his head against the bar a little too hard. Said I was sorry, and I was. Doesn't give security the right to ride me so hard. Can't you, I don't know, 
Straighten it out somehow? Oh, I'll straighten it out all right. Next time I see the manager, I'll have those fuckers fired. Did my fair share of VIP treatment. Bouncers get it wrong sometimes. Just go there, tell them who you are. Bound to get an apology at least. You're some kind of shrink now? Work for me is all I'm saying. Bullshit! So why do you waltz in behind the bar and have them carry your VIP ass upstairs? Cause I'm done dealing with those Neanderthals. Now somebody get me a fucking drink!
sort us out? Girl, please. Brought my own. Lane refused to buy from that bloodsucker. At least that bloodsucker is pushing the real deal. But I love the decision you always carry around. I have received word from San Francisco. My boss has agreed. We will build the whole Arcology. You understand what this means? We will be kings of real estate along the coast. Consider yourself set for life. Oh, the Heavy Hearts is an enterprising atmosphere. I knew we would reach an agreement here. Uh, and you are? Looking for Georgina Zimbinski. She around? Perhaps. That depends who you are. Name's V. Got fresh evidence for a case she's building. Important I hand it to her personally. Well, well. Georgina Zimbinski getting a good folk in Night City to help her in her fight for justice. You'll find her in booth six. Thanks, fellas. Thank you. 
sacristan, we'll need something incriminating. Airtight. We're working on it. Boys are putting together a testimony. One witness might not seal the deal. That's why I have two more meetings lined up today. And me? You'll hit the stacks. Make contact with Esteban. <laughs> My fucking errand boy is what I am. And you are? Gina Zimbinski? Need to talk to you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. Bleed two faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? Your goon here forced Mike Maldonado to testify. I think he means you, Hank. Did you do any shock therapy on Mr. Maldonado recently? Yeah, like I don't got better things to do. Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. We just needed someone to help him get there. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. Who's Hector Sacristan? One of the Valentino's top men. Narco-millionaire, serial murderer. Two years I've been after him. Eric Maldonado, he's the last domino. But if I want to use him, I need him behind bars. So Eric's past justifies forging testimonies. Teach you that in law school? This is the real world. You want justice, need to nudge it in the right direction. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During your conversation, he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. Mike hired me to do a job. Intend to see it through. Besides, I think you're full of shit. Full of shit, me? I just showed you proof. Show me one piece that fits your narrative. Not nearly enough. The testimony, now. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Let's try this in a language you'll understand. Hank? I want you to stop and think, Hank. About how many years left till you retire. About how I could speed that up. Dealt with far worse than the likes of you. Compared to them, Getting rid of you be like swatting the fly. Um, <clears throat> hey, Georgina. Really don't feel like dying today. Not over some piss-ass testimony. Uh, really, Hank? You and I need to have a talk later. There. Deleted and gone. Prem, thanks.
We're done. Now leave. V, how'd it go? Am I finally gonna get a good night's sleep? It's done. Testimony's gone for good. <laughs> That's a weight off my shoulders. I only have one now. Had to sell the other one to pay for my ticket into Dogtown. Go on. Pay me with the eddies you got for selling your son down the river. Hi. Oh, shit. Count yourself lucky you've only got me to deal with, Mikey. Just... just go. Oh, yeah? I spoke to Mr. Maldonado. He was most satisfied with your work. A job well done. I'm pleased you handled this quietly. The client is happy, and by extension, so am I. I'm closing the gig and sending you a little bonus. Wait, 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 what if we muck it here? I mean, we could do that, but then what to do with it? 